Android 12, Installation Guide. Hello guys, hope you all are doing great. We are back. Today Tech Chat is going to help you in installing Android 12 into any smartphone. Having the freedom to choose the device, service, and experience that best suits your needs has always been a hallmark of Android. Android's global market share has risen to over 3 billion active devices as a result of its open environment. I would like to say, everything you love about Android 12 is built into it. It aims to create a highly personalized phone that changes according to how you use it, as well as to create an operating system that is secure and private by default. The design of Android 12 has undergone the most significant change in the operating system's history. With new colors, forms, light, and motion, they have created a whole new experience. Consequently, Android 12 is more dynamic and personal than ever before in its expressiveness. Enough of background details, let's move into today's content. So today's video will show you how to to install third-party apps like GSI USP Official in Pixel 6 or GSI on a non-Pixel smartphone. This is an experimental GSI that works flawlessly on non-Pixel devices, but I must say that there's a chance certain functions won't operate. So once again, I warn you to use this at your own peril. You guys are in charge of getting it to boot and fixing any problems that arise. Before starting the installation process, you have to ensure that Project Treble is supported by your device. There are now two main official methods. One uses a PC, while the other does not. Pixel UI material Galaxy is one, whereas basic USP, GSI is another. To begin, use a PC to install a Pixel 5 or Pixel 6 GSI on an external device that is not a Pixel. Next get ADB installed into your PC and fast boot it. Finally you have to unlock the smartphone's bootloader. Fortunately there are several instructions available to help you do just that. The official website or XGA can be used to verify the information. Next you have to extract your smartphone's firmware's boot image and meta file. In order to proceed with the next step, connect your phone or tablet to a computer via ADB and then do a fast boot. Now type a few lines to flash the GSI, which is the boot partition. Finally you need to disable verification by flashing VB Meta, and then rebooting should be done. This is because Google's official GSI page, which is available on most devices, is quite straightforward to use. A similar strategy has been used by Samsung, OnePlus, and Xiaomi devices running GSI. If everything else fails, use a custom recovery to install GSI, but be aware that this is not the official way to do so. The second method which I am going to describe now is the simplest approach without a PC. It's a non-pixel UI with no support for dynamic themes, but it does have the official USP GSI, which works perfectly. So once again, make sure your smartphone is unlocked by removing any locks or patterns, then go to Settings, Developer Options, and then look for DSU. The OTA package for the most recent A12 GSI can be found by tapping on the DSU loader. For Google services, click on GSI and GSM. So this is the quickest and easiest way to download Android 12 on your smartphone. However this may not work on Samsung devices because of Samsung's lack of support for DSU. That's all that I needed to discuss with you today. So let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. If you guys are new here, be sure to subscribe. The tech chat is over and I am out.